Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So big news overnight, we had a, a statement from the Fed that basically highlighted that December will be a very likely candidate for the first uh, rate hike in almost a decade, but the upwards trajectory of future moves would be at a much slower pace than what the market might be expecting, which basically caused equity markets across the globe to spike higher and the dollar take a significant bath. Uh, as it kind of reduced its longer term value by the fact they were going to raise rates at a slower pace. So the um, US 30 almost getting close to uh, re-challenging the tips of these candles right here, uh, breaking above potential resistance 17,747 uh, with the next potential support around about almost um, 18,000. But then you're looking at 18,112 all the way up to 18,284 if, if the trajectory continues. A very strong candles, really decent candle yesterday. Other technicals are relatively neutral. So moving on to the UK 100, and we have seen a slight rebound in commodities because the dollars come off slightly. So the UK 100 also getting a little shot in the arm, getting its head above 6,300. Could be capped at 21 period SMA, but 64.15 is the next potential resistance after that level. Then moving on to Japan 225, asset purchases continuing in the region. Uh, at one point, that's going to have to stop, but it wasn't at this policy meeting anyway. Decent candle yesterday, not doing much today, but still very close to 20,087, which is, is the next potential resistance level to be aware of. So looking at dollar yen. As we mentioned, the dollar lost a bit of strength, more obvious in GBP USD and Euro dollar than anything else. Um, but having a look at dollar yen, uh, we are looking at uh, this is a bearish engulfing pattern currently. Uh, puts 124.42 into doubt. It's off the session lows. Looking at it from an interday perspective, it still looks kind of ugly actually. So um, we'll see how that pans out. Moving on to West Texas crude, small bounce, considering that we've had that, that dollar reversal, crude's still languishing. Uh, it was below $40 uh, for a slight second yesterday, um, and $42 will be a broken support, and I expect it to act as potential resistance, so that's something to be aware of. Looking at gold, gold should have had a big bounce yesterday, but not really that big. Um, but it still moved in the right direction. It's uh, just on the right side of 1172 right now. Um, we could be looking at a, a, a 1,050 and change level at some point there uh, if rate chatter continues on. But it's not like a super strong move considering uh, that lower trajectory rhetoric from the Fed last night. But nevertheless, it's uh, at least moving in the, uh, in the right direction, depending if you're bullish or bearish, of course. So looking at euro dollar, we're off the session highs. Um, so that's kind of interesting, isn't it? It did initially spike up higher this morning, uh, but it's been getting pushed right back down again. A little little sell off first thing this morning. If you were to look at this right now, you would think that your dollar, just from a technical perspective, these candles are indicative of quite strong selling interest uh, above 107. So one spot 0524 still seems to be in play. So actually, when I'm kind of looking over these charts that little bit more, it does feel like that that Fed message might have had a little short term spike for um, on the FX markets. But maybe things just really haven't changed that much in regards to uh, the traders' view as to future interest rate hikes. So December seems to be very much on the cards. But looking at the FX markets, they're not really taking the news that it was going to be a slower tra trajectory too negatively on the value of the USD. And actually, if you look at cable, that's when you see a bit more of a pronounced move. OK candle yesterday, short-term technical breakout today. We just ticked above that 21 period SMA. We're still quite far away from everything else. What is quite interesting is if you look at Euro Sterling, and Euro Sterling has just broken uh, 0.7. Uh, it's currently trading at 0.69. Uh, and that's, uh, that's a, a kind of quite a low point for, uh, for, for Euro Sterling in some time. So um, it's Euro weakness that is impacting that. And obviously, you've got the, uh, the uh, GBP strength. So economic data wise, right. Today is Thursday. Uh, we have retail sales, Philly Fed index, and employment data from the US. And then tomorrow doesn't really have a huge amount. You've got uh, German PPI, UK public services, and then you've got uh, inflation data from the Eurozone. Uh, sorry, not inflation data, but you've got the consumer confidence index, and that's due at 3 p.m. UK time. So as ever, guys, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.